Hi guys, welcome back to part 2 of this MVC example. We left off last time after a lengthy blurb. Um, we just created the objects for the recipe inside our init method in Recoder, as I explained, is for using data types uh, from a data model. You don't have to do it this way, you could put all this into the view, view to load and be perfectly fine. It's just I want to try and keep the view to load as clean as possible. The only thing we're going to put into view to load in this app is a small little adjustment to our table cell. As you can see I've cleaned up some of the methods here, like the view will appear. We don't need any of those. Um, so the only thing I'm going to put in here is self.tableView.rowHeight equals 60. Because we want these to be a bit bigger, they want small little table cells with tiny images, we want a nice big table cell with some nice spacing. So that's it. Um, okay, now if you watch my previous tutorials, you've seen us before, we're just going to quickly fly through these little, these calls. So return one, there's only one number section in the table. We want to return the uh, recipe array count, which should be three. And then we have a few little things to do here. We've already made our recipe object in the init method, so we can call that directly. So recipe is equal to go away equal to recipe array object add index index path I always do that index path dot row. Perfect. Now, a few other things we want to do. We want to make our cell dot text label dot text equal to recipe dot name. Perfect. Then cell dot image view dot image equal to recipe dot image. Nice and simple. So remember in the last I showed you before, we have now accessed to our recipe class through this single recipe object, which we declared in our header file. Sorry, not header file, in our init method. Okay, so as you can see, I've named my PNGs and all to be the same as what I've inited at. So when I load this, this should come up as a table view with three nice cocktail images and headers. There we go. But of course I haven't fixed the names properly. Of course I would copy and paste in a broken link, wouldn't I? Perfect. If you're watching carefully, what scene I'd imported, copy and paste wrong, this was P J N G J N G not J P G. Silly me. But there you go. Cocktails ahoy. With nice images, etc. However, as before, we need something to hold this, these details. So, well, to display them even. So, we're going to make a new file. So, where you click, new file, UI view controller subclass, and you want a UI view controller. And to be nice, I'll do a nib. No boring code. Display controller. When it takes its time, now into your header file property not atomic I hate typing all set every single time retain IB outlet UI image view and we'll call it image view and property non atomic retain IB outlet UI text view we'll call it text view Nice and easy, and oops, no, 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 Mr. Breakpoint, we don't want you at all. And then synthesize text view and image view. Perfect. Um, as usual, we can delete memory warnings. If you didn't load, we're not going to be, that'd be nice proper start to do that but for now just don't worry too much about it. Okay, our nice nib. What do we need here? We need a few things. First of all we need a 
text no we want text view not text field there we go first of all we want an image view let's make it 200 by 200 and drag it center a bit and then we want a text view make it a bit bigger for those extended cocktail lists perfect now what you can do if you want to be fancy you can go into your all this crap and you can change the font if you feel like it recently use there you go now if you erase what's in here it won't work you have to leave this blur but that'll be replaced straight away and to make sure it gets replaced click on your file owner connections and then connect your image view to your image view and your text view to your text view very simple into your display controller and import guess what recipe because that's what's going to hold the data not our view controller we're putting the data into the model which we're taking into this class so now views load is where we have to do some fancy maneuvering okay so self dot title equals recipe Ooh, go away self dot title equals recipe of course I haven't made a call to it have I recipe recipe equals clock it okay so self dot title equals recipe dot name then image view dot image equals recipe dot image and of course text view dot text equals recipe dot instructions okay now even though that looks nice and tasty and good we have a few little things to finish off such as the deallocation so, so text view release and image view release and of course because we allocated memory in recipe recipe release okay one more thing to do we must now tell it that whenever a cell is clicked on it must open this make some tidy up time and delete all this perfect now we have to do one final thing here we have to import our display controller because we're going to push a view to it now display controller new view equals display controller A lock in it uh, now new view dot recipe probably just one second please I think I've made a little boo boo in my code. Indeed, I just realised now that I made a mistake. A shortcut got the better of me. We don't want to do this here at all. We want to make this into a property because we want to access it outside of the class. 
So property not atomic retain there you go and of course import recipe and synthesize recipe okay I think that's all we have to do I blame the code for this and because we have allocated it already through a property we don't need to do that and then of course recipe release very good uh, back into our table view controller now new view dot recipe equals same lines here recipe array object add index index path that's really annoying I don't know why it does that every time index path dot row perfect and very simply now self dot navigation controller push view controller new view yes and of course new view release because it's an allocated memory save and build then we click on a cocktail there we go sex in the beach with your description mojito your nice picture all your ingredients yeah, being colada, some rum, coconut, etc. So there you go. You can see now that the information initialized is being put into our recipe object, which is our model, and then it's been called again. So it's been called, it's been initialized, information put in, and then being pushed to the new view, which is display controller, with the all the arrays and objects from the model. Hope that was helpful. This code will be on GitHub for you to download, look at, play with, and hopefully it'll give you an idea of how to make a fully functioning app using the MVC paradigm. Thanks for watching, take it easy.